Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhone Captain. Today we're going to be taking a look at IntelliScreen X7. This was released Sunday evening for iOS 7 users. And as you can see here, I have my RSS feeds listed here on the screen. I have an, a, a, a ticker up here at the top, the time. And you also can have the weather added in here. And we'll look more into that just in a second. But if I want it to just simply go to my home... Here's where I have things listed in the order that I want them. I have my mail, upcoming calendar events, Twitter feeds, any any kind of things that might have mentioned or anything about me, uh, weather, the clock. And over here, when you pull this little thing out, you can go to all different things. You can go to the home, which is where we are now. You can read your emails, your Twitter, Facebook, or RSS feeds, and that's usually where I keep it right there. And you can just f quickly flip through the, the, the day's events of what's been listed and posted on the new sites or any sites that you may follow, uh, which makes it very convenient if you if you keep up with any kind of uh, news events or anything of that nature. If you want to compose a text directly from here, you can just tap the little thing down there in the corner right there and go typing your text. Now, you can also do many, many more things here. If you have the mail and you want to compose a mail, tap compose and you just start typing. It's that really, it's that easy, guys. This is a very, very thorough, awesome, awesome tweak. And one thing I've added th to is, a, is something like a built-in app switcher here called the Slider. And these are the apps that are populated in your app switcher. These are the most used, most recently used apps, I should say, in your app switcher. That's where the YouTube, when you pull it over like that, it'll pull up YouTube. And if you want to go back, when you go back, you can you can either touch the home button or slide it back over either way uh, and you can unlock the device simply by sliding right just like always but when you get inside you can also pull it down in the notification center which you know makes this truly amazing in itself and up here at the top you have your rss feeds you have your isx your mail your twitter your Facebook, and then today, if you want that still there, you can have that listed. And all this can be customized from right inside the settings menu. So let's go down here to IntelliScreen X, right here. And you see here the RSS readers on top. And if I wanted Facebook on top, I could simply just tap the little edit up here and drag and drop Facebook up at the top. And now Facebook would be up there, but you know, we don't want to do that. <laughs> I like it just like I have it. So I'm going to click done again. And if I wanted to hide anything, like if I didn't want Facebook showing up there at all, uh, which I normally don't show Facebook there much, I could drag it down there and it wouldn't be shown in the mix. And you can see here, you can enable or disable this on your lock screen and you can set however how long you want it to dim and all that. And you've got a, a lock screen blur, blur and tint right here. Uh, I like the blur. And, and let me show you what I mean by that. See how behind the writing it looks sort of blurry? That's what that's coming from. And if we went back in here and put that on dark, you see it makes it a lot darker. But anyway, there's a lot of different things you can do. You can whitelist apps right here uh, for applications that you do want to in include in the slider. So if there's something you didn't want included in slider, like if you don't never want your mail included for security purposes, then you simply would just come in here and you would just turn this little slider off to the off position. Okay, and you can get that slider to pull down anywhere you are. And it doesn't matter if I wanted to open up Safari. I could slide it out over there just like so. And right back we would go. And then I could just touch the home button. And it would bring me right back to the inside. Uh, you also get Messages Plus with this installation. 
Uh, users that already had Intel Screen X6 gets this for free update. If you if you don't have Intel Screen X already purchased for Intel Screen X6, it's, it'll be a $499 update, I think. Otherwise, if you've never owned it, it's it's $999. And the Messages App Plus simply just allows you to have quick compose and reply on the lock screen like I was showing you earlier. Um, and that's pretty much all that was boiled down to. Uh, this right here is what really amazes me. It's just being able to flip through everything, on, all the information on your phone just by swiping with your finger here you can go from your mail to your twitter and you see now my facebook isn't up here no more because we took it out and hid it if you remember and there's mail isx rss awesome app guys i, I strongly recommend it grab it you're going to thoroughly enjoy it it's going to make keeping up with everything a lot easier i've been an intelliscreen x user for many many years i think since ios 4 so grab it i know you'll love it Hit that subscribe button before you go. Share this on Facebook and Twitter and keep coming back.